Hey guys, welcome back to another video from the channel Learn From Basics. This is Joe here, and this is our last and final part 3 of the Document Scanner Project series tutorial series we have had been going on this channel. Now, in our last video, we did all of the behind-the-scenes processing we had to do with our biggest points array in order to make sure that all of our prog all of our programming and all the points match up so we can give them or pass them on to the war perspective algorithm that we'll be using. Now in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to pass on all of our data that we have collected onto the war perspective image processing uh, algorithm in order to just finish off this project and get our final results. And then maybe in the future, I'll make a video on how to make this process better and more accurate. But for now, I don't know, I'll have to work on that. But this for now is the final video. Now, before we get started, I have made no changes to the code. And we're just going to do one thing, guys. We're going to declare two variables called width and height. And these aren't the width and height of the screen like we normally do it. But this is the width and height of an A4 size sheet paper. Well, obviously, the ratio, we uh, converted it into pixels. And this is how our output image should eventually look like. This is how our scanned image should look like. Now that we have that out of the way, uh, these are just the dimensions as I was saying. What we're going to do next, guys, is we're going to create a frame that we'll be using in order to, well, uh, display, or th this is going to be the frame where we're going to display the final scanned image. So that's pretty easy. We just say warp frame or something like that, equal to actually warp image, equal to image.copy. Really not that hard. We just say image.copy and we're done. Now the next thing we're going to do guys is what we have to do is we have to create a matrix. A matrix that will tell us how the computer vision algorithm has to process the image so uh, our image, our uh, main image or our not so scanned image turns into a flat scanned image. As we do have the four points, this matrix will tell us how to transform it. So in order to do that, what we have to give the matrix is we have to create a matrix using the uh we have to create a matrix using the get perspective transform algorithm now what this algorithm does is as i says as i said you give the algorithm oops i'm sorry you give the algorithm two pair of points point pair number one the edge points of whatever you want to get the warp perspective of in this case the paper and then Point number two, how you want the output image to look like, what the output image's x and y coordinates are, in this case 480 by 640, or 640 by 480. So, now that we know that, what? so that's what we're going to do. We're going to create two pairs of points that have to be in float format. So our first pair of points is going to be the biggest new, but as I said, we have to convert this into float format. So that's pretty easy. We just say biggest new or points one. Why not points one? Equal to numpy or np dot float thirty two. And then what do we want to transform? We want to transform draw rectangle. Not draw rec. I'm sorry. We want to transform biggest new. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an array called points two. In points two, we are going to give how we want our output image to look like. And also those should be in float, so we'll say numpy.float32. And now we are going to create the array inside here, which again, shouldn't be that hard. Because all we have to do is, first of all, we have to create an array. And inside that, we first give it the top left corner, which is going to be 0, 0. Then the top right corner, which is going to be w, 0. Then the bottom left corner, which is going to be 0, h, and the bottom right corner, which is going to be width by h. So this basically forms out, uh, this basically forms out something that just basically tells us how the output image should look like. So I'm pretty sure I can uh, cvt.show this. I'm going to do it over here for now. And when we're on our pro I think there's going to be an error, but I'm not sure. So yeah, there's no error. But as you can see, corner frame okay so how about this so what we're what this is basically doing is we're basically doing this so 
what it's basically doing is it's giving us the four corner points on how the corner points should be in the frame. They should be zero, zero, then what? Uh, so it's basically telling us by the end of the processing, our corner points should have these values. So that then it will tell the computer how to, what algorithms to use in order to get them to these values. And then we're going to use the algorithm itself to form a matrix. And let me just make this corner frame. And what we can do is we can say matrix will be equal to CB2 dot get perspective transform. And then again, we give it the source, which is going to be fr uh, image. And then we give it points one, our corner points, and points two, our expected corner points, or how our corner points should look after the warp perspective algorithm. And then finally, we say image warp will be equal to cv2 dot warp perspective this is the algorithm we'll be using and then we need to give it the source which is going to be uh, image i'm sorry i get confused with image and frame the matrix which will be matrix matrix and finally the d size or basically how we want the output to be which will be width by height and then that should do it so let's rerun this program and actually, over here, we're just going to say cvt.imshow output image output image is going to be uh, warp, image warp. Now let's rerun this, and fingers crossed, it's working. So it takes a bit. I think there's an error. Yep, there's an error. Okay, what does it say? Okay, so it's supposed to be an integer. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So in perspective transform, you don't need to give it the image. You just need to give it points one and points two. So let me. And there we have it, guys. We have a p perfectly uh, scanned image of our output image. Now, isn't that just amazing? And you can give it any image you want. Uh, so as you can see, I will be testing this on more images after this video, but I'll show you that too. But as you can see, we just went from an image that has nothing, that has no markings that this is a paper, to a fully scanned image. And actually, in order to make this code neater, what we can do is we can just comment out all of these um, processes in the middle because, I mean, you can if you want, but I'm not going to. Just the input image and the output image. And if we run it, you'll see that we went from an image like this into an image like this. And if you have a more powerful computer, like a, a computer with a proper GPU, then what you can do is you can actually make this picture uh, a lot, lot bigger. So we have a better, um, what do we say? We have a better resolution. But as you can see, you still you can still read everything perfectly. And this is just so amazing. We used our own computer vision algorithms in order to transform this image into this image. So now without any, f oops, I'm sorry, my mic fell down again. So without any further ado, let's just get into, well, let's just get into testing this awesome algorithm, shall we? Hey guys, so again, this is the text uh, test section of the video. And unfortunately, uh, all of the images I plan to show you guys in this section got deleted. So for now, I'm just going to show you how our image processing program can process this crumbled piece of image into a really neat new image. Now, here's something I want to tell you. There are many more improvements that can be made to this application. And I've actually written a program that does the, this same job, but does it better. So we will be applying more contour, more uh, open TV algorithms in order to make our contour detection more accurate. So do expect a part four for, to this video. So yeah. We will be having a part four, but this is just one test. In part four, we'll do many tests. So now, as you can see, when I run this program, you can see it's not the best looking result, but it can still uh, make this crumbled piece of paper into a plain paper. And if you do have a webcam that's not uh, directly pinned to your computer, then you can use this in a, uh, you can use this as, well, a real-time detector it does work like that you just put this in a while loop I hope you know how to do that if you don't I will do that in our next video in part 4 but this is our program done you can either choose to watch part 4 or you can choose not to but I would recommend choosing it 
So as you can see, even if this contour is not a perfect rectangle, our program still recognizes it as a paper, which is pretty amazing. Now again, in our next video, we'll go through more test cases like this, and we will do more cool, we will do more, uh, another video on this that will hopefully make our program more accurate. Now that's all for this video, guys. If you like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we're finally done with the base model of a really cool project in OpenCV. We will be doing more projects like this, like a one that will allow you to blur your face, a deep fake algorithm one, and we will do many, many more ones, including, uh, including a program that allows us to detect our hand. I will be posting a trailer to that series today or tomorrow. But that's all for this video. I hope you guys liked this video. So if you did, please do like and share this video so your friends can also make cool projects like this. If you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. All useful links and uh, stuff I will put down in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you get a reminder when I post other cool tutorials like this. I've also launched my uh, Flutter Dart series, so go ahead and check that. And I'll explain what Flutter is in that video. Again, all links will be down in the description. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.